Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'll be doing a Luke run that is on woods. And before I start the video, I just wanted to say that this is the loadout that I kind of use whenever I do loot runs. I usually run the tier 4 best, whatever it's called, the rat, rat ray, whatever. Um, and then I usually run a MP155. I don't usually run it with a suppressor. Um, all I do is run it with a sight. Uh, you sometimes a flashlight, it depends. Um, and then the HL mag. Uh, and then you get a scab backpack or whatever backpack you want. Recommend having it pretty big. Meds in my gamma with uh, with the Zox case. And that's about it. And also before I get into it, I just want to say uh, the reason why I call this a pretty much risk-free run is because um, there's not a lot of PvP on woods and also you can, you can just scab run it. So, you know, the reason why. And also you can just, you know, scab run to get loadouts and then go into woods. So just letting you guys know that. So uh, let's get into it. Alright, so first I'm at this um, village. It's across the road that leads into the town that's over here. Um, yeah, so you see, if you walk up the town road, you will run into this village. So, first thing you're going to do is we're going to go into that building. And I'll show you the loot spots for that building. And then we're going to go to that building. I'll show you the loot spots for that building. You can go to these. I'll show you guys the loot spots for those two little cabins. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so in this one, we got a weapons case, a toolbox. Um, I think there is some other, like, random spawns in here, but nothing too big. So you got that weapons case, this, and then we go to this building over here. This one is kind of a loaded building, to be honest. Um, and I would highly recommend, um, even if you want to skip over that, just at least lose this building. Um, so you got this uh, crate down here, technical crate. Then you go out right up to these. We got a weapons crate. There's, wep there's uh, weapon parts on this. Other part up here where you got weapon spawns on this sometimes. Weapon crate. Um, you got the... This is a ration. Yeah, ration supply crate. And sometimes tools spawn on this thing. But it's not guaranteed spawn or anything. Also worth checking out beds. Because a lot of the times beds are rare spawns for things. Alright, we got our second loot spot now. This is the town. I'll show you a map right now. Where it is located on the map. Um... So yeah, as we're walking this, I'm just going to add some side notes, kind of. I would recommend just knowing the basic layout of this, and I'll just show you guys the sort of... These are the two, like, main, pretty much main loot spots that everybody knows. These aren't really the crazy ones or anything, just letting you guys know that. Alright, so pretty much this is basically... All these different townhouses have loot, have loot spawns in them, obviously. Um, there is no real difference between them. I mean, some things have a garage like this. But these are kind of things you're gonna have to figure out on your own, obviously. Um, so, yeah, pretty much that's it for this. And then, um, bring you guys to the next loot spot. All right, so now we're at the next loot spot. This is kind of, um, at least I call it Crapper's Camp. Uh, there's actually two parts to this kind of. Um, so let's get started on this first part. So um, this is a table. It has like really rare medical spawns. Like, as you can see, you got a serve twelve. You can find um, injectors here all the time. Recommend going to the other side, checking this table thing here. Uh, so, yeah. And then the next part to this one is this table right here. Usually has weapons parts on it. And then this box is a weapons box. So, we also have uh, things on top of some of these barrels. And this uh, in here, food spawns on this. Um, this is a ration supply crate. Sometimes there's rare spawns underneath this bed. Um, and then, obviously, this crate right here. Uh, and then, over here, we have a place where, um, loot spawns, like, met, um, weapon loop spawns. This is a reflex site. Weapons crate. And then there's the next part to this, which is, you, all you have to do is walk through these trees. Um, but make sure you don't walk down this over, anywhere over here. There's mines there, don't walk there. Um, so over here, we have, as you can see, like, um, usually I can find rare spawns here with, like, food and stuff, moonshine, um, and we have a med crate, uh, little spawn right there, and there's a rare spawn in this area here, and there's also an ammo spawn over here most of the time, and then obviously the, the weapons crate, but, you know, and then you run over here, you got a weapons case in the back of this truck here. And then the moonshine spawns on this table sometimes, not all the time, obviously, that'd be kind of OP. Uh, technical supply crate there, 
We got 42, whatever that is, some spawns on this. And then this is the most important part other than, you know, this right here, which is the other weapon supply crate, weapon, weapon supply drop. Uh, we got a weapon supply crate here. And then along this mountain edge, there's usually like those rare spawns, such as like the gold chains. I've gotten a Bitcoin here one time. Um, and like all those, like the, those kind of rare spawns. And then in that case right there. All right, let's go on to the next loot spot. All right, um, so this is the next um, loot spawn. I'm gonna call it, I'll just, this is kind of gonna be checkpoint and ritual. Um, so checkpoint is right here. As you can see, I'll, I'll do the highlight thing on the map whatever when I first, you know, get into the thing. Um, so there is always scavs here. So like, you know, be kind of careful. There's scavs everywhere on this map. Um, but I would just, you know, recommend kind of taking out scabs then going in weapon crate right here you got in this building there's a usually a weapons spawn thing right there file case um ammo spawn and then this little box wooden crate i don't even know what this is um and then sometimes i've seen ammo on this or in this so just check that and then this is going to be a little bit hard to find if you don't know exactly where it is the ritual thing um it doesn't actually spawn rare items Actually, no, I think it does spawn rare items sometimes. But most of the time, it's just, like, tool sets, as you'll see. Um, things of that sort. So, as you can see, I'm coming up to this. There's really nothing here. This is an offline raid. I don't know why there's nothing here. But usually, you'll find some items here. And then you have this jacket, which I have gotten good keys out of before. No idea if it's a coincidence or not. Um, okay, I got a shattered mask. That's kind of cool. Um, but, uh, yeah. All right, we got our next loot area. This is the attachments cabin. Uh, I'll show where it is on the map here. This is kind of if you're gonna uh, extract through outskirts on this direction through here, Re highly recommend going here. So you can find food spawns right here. And then another very important thing to look for over here is you can all the time I found most, I have over a thousand like BP and uh, BS ammo. Um, and that is all there and then well okay and then here we have as you can see all these high high tier um all these high tier weapon parts and also a whiskey for some reason i don't know why that's there i've never actually gotten that before and then sometimes weapons spawn in here uh, not always though and you can just check these mags for any good sorts of ammo uh, that's P ps ammo so so i think it is sort of worth mentioning on this map that there is the um Sturman's place where I would sawmill. Um, I would kind of recommend going here if you're gonna fight Sturman. Sturman, I don't know how to say his name. Um, but if you get anywhere near up in this area, he's he's gonna see you and he's gonna shoot you. So, unless you're willing to fight Sturman, I would highly recommend not looting this place because he will end up shooting you and stuff. So, all right, we got the best loot spot, I think at least in all entire of woods. Extremely important part to watch there's a lot of places where you wouldn't really if you don't know this area you won't know where the loot is so um yeah so first thing when you walk into the front you got this crate here medical crate uh, i think this is a technical crate um no ration crate actually and then these tables sometimes have rare spawns on them so you can get like, uh heavy bleed thing whatever that's called um and i would recommend looting all these med bags that you see throughout here um and then if you go around here, you can get food spawns there. You can get ammo spawns over here. As you can see, we got BS and BP ammo there, which is kind of crazy. I would recommend running up into all these towers, and sometimes you can get good ammo. You'll have these wooden crates, which don't really give that much of good stuff, but they're worth checking anyway. Um, and then, as you can see over here, even more um, loot spawns. Nothing good there, but, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. You got food spawns up there. You got... Um, and then, actually, over here, you have... Uh, sometimes, I've seen rare loot here. Most of the time, it's just ammo, though. Oh, but it's worth checking. Um, you can check through all these things in here. Some of them have loot, some of them don't. This one has the weapons case, but, you know. Um, and then, we got the medical crate here. Oh, te technical crate, sorry. We got the duffel bag, med bag, another crate there. These shelves are worth checking, because there's an eye fact here, as you can see. Um... And then even if we go into the next one, sometimes you can get injectors in these things. Uh, there's another crate right here, as you saw. 
And then this shelf has injectors on it sometimes. So you gotta, wow, we gotta, whatever this is called, Abadulas or whatever. Those are worth like 50k, I think. Um, and then we got a ration crate here. And then there's even some better loot up here. Uh, there's usually ammo right there. And then there's the uh, technical crate right there. You run through here. There's a wooden crate if you wanted to even do that. And then so there's usually ammo on this bed. Um, weapons crate right there. And then there's sometimes good ammo on this right here. And then throughout here, there's just like miscellaneous loot spawns. Like, you know, as you can see, PBSM, PRS, just random loot like that. Um, and then obviously, as I said, you should go into all those things. Um, because sometimes you can get randomly good loot up there, you know. And, um, yeah. And now we're on to the honorable mentions. These are kind of ones that you guys can investigate for yourselves. Um, so first you have this town over here. I kind of call it the sunken town. You'll know if you're at it because it's literally a sunken town. Um, so you can kind of investigate that yourselves. Um, it's not the best loot, but if you're running by it, you might as well loot it. You know what I mean? And then this one right here is the scav bunker and the um there's like another smaller camp over here it's not the best but if you're wanting to buy it you might as well grab it and also if you have a zb104 key you can go there if you want to but that's kind of if you want to extract most of the time so um yeah